Oh, Yondu. Yondu's catchphrase were dead. What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime, it helps us go full time. Join the Dragon Squad and... Thanks so much for the support guys, now what's on the main for today Glacier? It's the official trailer of Marvel Studios' What If. What If, I'm super stoked for this show. One, it's the first animated property in the MCU and the animation looks crazy. I mean, we've watched some probably like, some of the best shows we've ever seen have been animated, so that doesn't take away from the storyline whatsoever and the fact that it's essentially you know loki set the stage for a multiverse yep. and this is probably just gonna blow the floodgates wide open with however many possibilities i don't and i mean possibilities are literally endless so i'm ready to get the fuck in to see what it really has to offer make sure you're ready yeah i mean what if i mean you can do so many different like things like all the different people that commented in movies like what if this person fought this person what if this was this power i mean Same. who knows where we're gonna go but yeah i mean i don't know i'm ready though that's for sure fuck yeah and uh, as usual guys just take a couple seconds hit the like button down below the impressions do lead to more views and with that being said let's fucking go one two three Go. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. Oh, Iron Man one. Damn. The animation looks <gasps> sick. Reminds me of a. Uh... Oh shit. Is that Killmonger? It is. Do we know? Oh shit! Good? Damn. He would never become Iron Man. Yep. Time. Oh yeah. Reality. Reality. Oh, shit. That's strange. It's changeable. Trippy. Oh, damn. Oh, Already shit. Where you want to be? Love the music. That's the question, isn't it? That's a child. Every yep. universe is different. Each one. How are the duck? Hey, yeah. Slow down a little bit. There's a few people in the room that don't understand. Not They're all me. doing the same thing. I love that robot. So, like some of their enemies. Captain UK. The name's Captain Carter. And Dark Strange looks sick in that scene. Shut up. Shit. I am the Watcher. I observe Spider -Man. what transpires here. But I do oh not yes. Oh, and then Tony Stark got dead. Tony Stark. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Damn, Wanda. Damn. Oh shit, Ultron. Hey. Who the fuck's that? Never flies solo. I said never flies solo. Uh, is that <laughs> some kind of catchphrase? <laughs> oh, Yondu. Yondu's catchphrase were dead. You had me worried for a second. Shit, wait, is that a Morlock? Who is that? And ponder the question. Oh my god. Wait, was that um was collector? Was it a collector? What is Wow, right around the corner. Bro, that shit's so Fuck yeah. Yep. I'm I think that was the collector. Holy shit. All right, what if? Wait, what do you think? Uh, fucking sick. The soundtrack was sick. Um, I like that we got a decent sized trailer. Like, the, it was, you know, not, yeah. not too much because it would have been like my brain would explode because of all the possibilities, but just enough to like, obviously, I mean, either, even without the trailer, I was going to be there. Yeah, it was already going to be a day one, but now we see like how deep the rabbit hole really goes because they can literally do anything. Like, yeah, incredible. But, and none of it really has to tie in any MCU canon. You can just go down these deep ass rabbit holes, kind of like how Rick and Morty does. Yeah, and at the end of it, you know, you know it exists, but it doesn't really affect the, the actual MCU that we're in, the, you know, I guess yeah. say the universe that we're in. They'll probably show like scenes that we've already seen and then yeah, there's like, like how they're doing in the trailer. Well, yeah, what we saw just to kind of, I mean, there's a lot of shit from what we caught, you know, obviously the very beginning we see the Killmonger actually stops that uh, that Stark missile from exploding, which is the whole, the catalyst that pretty much takes, uh, that takes Tony to become Iron Man. Because if he doesn't, if that missile doesn't explode, he doesn't have the shrapnel in his chest and doesn't have the fucking magnet, he doesn't get kidnapped in the cave and all that shit. Yeah. So at that point, does that mean like Iron Man never 
like Tony ever becomes Iron Man or he like ends up like doing it down the road anyways. Right. But Killmonger is obviously, you know, a good guy. He's like still military at that point. Um, and then we see like there's one scene where Hulk is fighting a bunch of those Ultron robots. Yep. So crazy ass animation there. Um, Captain Carter, you know, instead of uh, Steve taking the serum, it seems like, you know, Peggy takes the serum and that's fucking badass with it. Yeah. It looked like also there was a uh, good Doctor Strange and like the, the evil Doctor Strange. Yeah. We kind of saw bits of that from the first uh, little teaser. But yeah, it seems like there was definitely a good Doctor Strange and evil Doctor Strange. Um, you know, instead of Peter Quill getting taken by Yandu, it's T'Challa. Yeah. So that's crazy as fuck. So now pretty much T'Challa is the new Star Lord in that, in whatever that universe is. And there was one scene where Yandu and T'Challa were fighting. Like I don't know for whatever reason I said Adam Warlock, but yeah, I mean looking at it again, it's definitely like some stronger cybernetic version of the Collector because you see in the background all the shit that's in the yeah, like, all the collection. So yeah. I don't know if they're fighting him over Infinity Stones in this one or if it's like some sh other shit completely. But uh, yeah, Collector right. looks badass. But well, uh, hopefully we'll get to see Howie the Duck in action. See what he's all. About. Yeah, Howie the Duck was in there. The, instead of it being Howard the um, instead of it being the Avengers in the Battle of New York, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy in the Battle of New York. So yeah. is Loki still even a part of that? Like it's crazy like how they can just flip. And I can't tell who's head is in the jar, but I think it's Peter Parker's head. Yeah, seeing like Peter Parker, I didn't recognize the voice because it seems like everybody that has starred in the MCU is still voicing their actual characters in, in this animated series. Right. Kind of reminds me of like Love, Death, and Robots, just because Love, Death, and Robots is random in the animation in some of the episodes that we've seen. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gives me renditions of like some of the best Love, Death, and Robots episodes. I mean, do you think that's the episodes we'll get? Like if you're if you're thinking like as each episode goes, do you think it's gonna connect or do you think it's gonna be random in a way? And I think both. I think it's gonna probably delve into individual multiverse stories I mean, that probably like yeah, almost like an anthology, but it's all gonna be part of the same universe. Same universe, got it. Well, no, it'll be part of multiple. You don't get what I'm saying. Yeah, it'll be part of the same multiverse. We could say same show. But yeah, same <laughs> show. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's probably like there's way more. I think we saw a clip of Wanda like powering the fuck up. Um, oh yeah, and the, yeah, the zombie captain, zombie Iron Man. So we're gonna definitely see like a zombie multiverse, which is crazy. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that, um, I saw that. It was crazy when we saw the Captain America one, and then they throw Tony Stark in this trailer. Like, yeah. Oh shit! So it's gonna be literally like how many zombies? other yeah, how many other zombies are there gonna be? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, nonetheless, I mean, there's so much shit, and that was probably just the tip of the iceberg. But I'm stoked as fuck. Later, your final thoughts? Final thoughts is I can't wait to see the show. It's August 11th. It's like my daughter's birthday is in August, but it's actually birthday present. I guess the both of us. She likes watching cartoons, but hey, perfect cartoon. But with that being said, I can't wait. Dragon certified. Yeah, I mean, MCU is on fire right now. I mean, Loki's probably one of the best MCU. I mean, it may be the best MCU show, as long as, long as they stick the landing. And then if this follows up with it and it has any indication of it being just as good as the other three shows before it, I mean, MCU, they're pretty much, you know, pitching a no hitter, as they say. Yep. They're batting 1,000, however you want to say it. But yeah, Dragon certified, fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is, what you guys think of our Drax One Land? Of course, what other scenes did you catch that you're super stoked about? And, I mean, how excited are you for the show? Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad. And remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad. At the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember. The Blaze. And I'm Glacier. The Iceborne. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.